Hey, this is Chris Menard. Today I'm going to show you how to do a VLOOKUP inside of a VLOOKUP. So basically I'm going to do a VLOOKUP on multiple tables. I'm going to do a VLOOKUP using an IF statement. And I'm also going to show you a VLOOKUP where you have to insert a helper column. So before I start, let me just quickly show you an IF statement because I'm going to need the IF statement in the VLOOKUP. So there are there are reps out in the field. I want to give them a 5% commission if they went over 8750 So just a quick if statement equals if that greater than 8750 Make that absolute reference. Value of true is in bold. I'm going to take that number and multiply it times the commission. And I'm going to absolute reference the 5%. Because when I pull it down, I do not want that to change. Comma, value of false. Instead of giving them a zero, I'm going to give them a blank. And the reason is, if I do an average function, zeros will calculate into the average. And in this example, I don't want the zeros in the average. Auto fill down. And there are the numbers, and here's what's nice. If I change that to 7%, everything changes. 9%, let's make it 10 so it's easy to add up and it works. Okay, so let me swap files. And here comes a VLOOKUP inside of a VLOOKUP. And I did a, in case you see the Terry College of Business, I did a webinar for the executive MBAs at UGA and also trained them in Excel, and this is some of the topics we talked about. So in this example, once again, I've got people out in the field. I've got their years of service, and that's what they get the commission on in column C. And I know the numbers are small just to test this. But here's the, here's the example. When people first come to the company, they'll get this commission because I got it as year one. But we want to retain our employees so starting the second year, we bump up their commissions automatically. So here we go. Equal symbol, V, lookup. And I'm going to select that number, comma. Then I'm going to write an if statement, because I'm going to say if B4 is less than two, which means if it's one or zero, but there's no zeros here, comma, notice it says value of true, because I'm doing the if statement. I'm gonna highlight this data range right here, comma, the value of false, meaning it's two or more, is gonna be this range. I'm gonna close that. When I close that, I'm actually back in the VLOOKUP. Notice it says column index number. Both tables over in G and H and the table in J and K, they must have the same number of columns for this to work, just so you know that. I can't have one table with two columns and one table with three. So the answer is two, comma, and this is going to be a true. So if I did this correctly, I should end up with 2% because it's one year, which is pulling from the first table. Perfect. Let's test it. Let's change this number to 4,000 and it should go to 3%. Let's change the number of years to two and we should end up now over in the second table, which should give me 4%. And it's working. I'm not going to autofill down. You know how to do that. But there is the form formula that I just did. I did a VLOOKUP with a nested IF statement in it to pull from two tables instead of one. That's pretty cool, actually. Now, in this example, I've got an order number, and then I want the order total. But here's how this works. I have one group of data here that has the order number, the company, and the rep number. Then I have a completely separate table where the rep number in column I in the first table is now in column G 
because that's the primary key in this table. Then I have the name of the rep and their state and some other stuff. And then I have a third table showing the order, the order total, and the order date. In real life, all three of these would be on separate worksheets, but because I'm trying to teach you how to do this, I put them all here on one. So here we go. Here's a simple VLOOKUP. Equals VLOOKUP, comma, that's this table down here comma in that table what column are you looking for i'm looking for the second column and this one's going to be a false because i'm looking for an exact match 7500 a 102 is 5000 it is working now here comes the cool part i need to figure out the rep's name well the problem is the table that contains the name of the rep does not contain the order number. So to do this, equals VLOOKUP, and I'm going to do a nested VLOOKUP inside of it. And I'm going to find out A4, comma, table array, that's this one right here, comma, I'm looking for the third column, because rep is the third column in there. This is a false, comma, I'm back on the other VLOOKUP, and that's going to now pull from this range, comma, I'm looking for the name of the rep, and it's the second column, as you can see specifically, it's H11 is me, comma, once again, it's a false. So that is called a nested VLOOKUP, and I hope I get my name, by the way. Perfect. Let's test it. A102, Martha Jones. That is perfect, because A102 was IBM, rep 003, 003 is Martha Jones. One more. A103. Karen Davis, Coca-Cola Company, there she is. And one more VLOOKUP, how about that? Let me jump back over to that other file that I had running. Here we go. The problem, is not a problem, a VLOOKUP will only pull from one field. But in this example, this is actually a true case I had a client that said they wanted to be able to type in Al Davis and then know what department it is and I told them a VLOOKUP can only look in one field and usually this would be employee ID or product ID or something but they were pretty adamant that they wanted to he wanted to type in both names so this is where the helper column comes in so I'm going to right click on column A and do an insert. Helper 1. And I'm going to use the concatenate function. And I'm going to actually type out this function for you. Helps if I can spell it. Concatenate B8, comma, C8. That'll put an Al Davis with no space. It is exactly the same, just so you know this, is doing B8 and C8. That is the concatenate function still. So now that I have my helper column in here, and you'll end up hiding this column at some point, I'm going to come up here to department and do equals VLOOKUP. This is the only way I could figure out how to do this. C4 and D4, comma, here's your table array. It includes that helper column, comma, column index. I'm trying to figure out what department. One, two, three, four, five, six. Department is in the sixth column, comma, this is also a false. Al Davis. 
when I'm done, I would have, I would hide this. Al Davis is an HR. Zach Blue, perfect. Anyway, there are three advanced VLOOKUP functions that I just did with you with a VLOOKUP with an IF statement, a VLOOKUP with a nested VLOOKUP, and then a VLOOKUP pulling two fields because I used a helper column, and I also showed you how to write an IF statement. If you need Microsoft Office training, please contact me. Thank you.